Okay, so in the previous video I introduced Pascal's triangle and how that related to binomial expansion. And I ended with showing you a plus b to the 5 expanded and then introducing that we would want to be able to expand 2 plus 3x all to the 5 using this. I'm going to show you how this works. So, you should probably be able to spot that a plus b is referring to the 2 plus 3x. So the a is 2 and the b is 3x. Okay, the 5, the power, the power is the same in both. So, you can do it as a direct substitution where the a's become 2 and the b's become 3x. So we've got a to the 5, so that's 2 to the 5, plus 5 times 2 to the 4 times 3x, plus 10 lots of a cubed times b squared. Now that's 3x squared. Now you must put the 3x in a bracket. Otherwise, you're going to forget to square the 3 as well. Okay, so the 3 must be squared here. Plus 10 lots of a squared times 3x cubed. Remember, put it in a bracket. Then 5 times 2 times 3x to the 4. Plus, finally, 3x to the 5. So, plugging this into your calculator, we have 2 to the power of 5, which is 32. We've got 5 times 2 to the 4 times 3, so 5 times 2 to the 4 times by 3 is 240x, plus 10 times 2 cubed times 3 squared, so 10 times 2 cubed times 3 squared is 720x squared, plus 10 times 2 squared times 3 cubed is 1080x cubed, plus 5 times 2 times 3 to the 4, so 5 times 2 times 3 to the 4, that's 810x to the 4, plus 3 to the power of 5, so 243x to the 5. And that is 2 plus 3x to the power of 5 expanded. And that is a lot quicker and than just expanding 5 brackets, and you're less likely to make mistakes in doing it. Okay? So that is what binomial expansion is used for. And we'll be looking at more complicated problems in the next few videos.